What's up guys, this is TEN from ReasonBlayers.com back with part 5 of our Bioshock Infinite PC playthrough. Now, <clears throat> like I tell you in every video, if you haven't seen the first uh, four, um, go back and check them out so you're not lost. And uh, let's get started. Somebody comes along and tells you that you are getting the short end of the stick. Do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> they're saying, friend. We saw that scrawny as a thing that I remember. Being taken for a fool. Friend, you know better than a slave. Well, here's what you tell those stuff shirts. You say, I ain't no slave. I ain't no fool. I am a big man and proud of it. Just want to talk to you! I said stay away! Ugh. Elizabeth! Just hold up for a minute! Get away from me! I'm not angry with you! Stay away! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! No! Let me go! There's gotta be another way in. Let's get you, Sarlacc. 
just happened. I'm slipping! Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes, I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt, and a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You now, are a means to an end. No more. As a philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You have the lions, whose purpose is to keep order amongst the lesser creatures. Then you have the cow, the of burden. Now, they provide meat, milk, and labor. <laughs> then, well, there are the hyenas. Can you help me out with this lock? On it. Who only serve to rile up the cow. It's done.
That would be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Need money? Here you go. going to get into Finkton. Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Sorry, sir, but I was led to understand that there was work here. All my forms are in order. Be that as it may. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce, but like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Uh, that's Fink Timber, a Fink Hammer, and Fink's hand to Over swing there, it. A service elevator. Should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce. But like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Swing it. <laughs> he needs me. Lest he soil his own. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's right, is it? No. Locked. Elizabeth? Looks easy enough. All yours. Found some money. Okay. Booker. 
It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Man's got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? It doesn't strike me as good news. What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Folks just are unsatisfied with their place here at Think Industries. But I tell you, there's a purpose for all living things. Look at the pharaohs of Egypt have been able to stand at the top of their pyramids if the Israelites had not made their bricks. <laughs> Would the captains of industry have been able to ride the rails had not the Chinamen laid the track for them? So I say, shit up! History is built on the backs of men like you! Can you unlock this? Let me see. Look, a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Well, you're the junior codebreaker. What's it say? Don't know. But there should be a codebook somewhere. Huh. So we need to find the codebook? Yes. Hmm. Looks like every... 
Everything's been impounded at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Doesn't look like we can enter now. When's showtime? Come back at showtime! I guess we should come back later. You hold on to this. Come back at showtime! Booker, Chen Lin, Gunsmith. I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Some that tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him.
Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen, Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? Who are the flying squad? Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Right, let's figure out where this good time club is. care for you, Mr. Twit. But I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. I'm 
I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. Calling you a thug. Yeah. Can't see how I might have. There it is, Mr. DeWitt. Now we just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. And just call me Booker. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on Elizabeth. You. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them <laughs> yet. Find something 
coming soon. interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink Security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. Okay, there's a door over here. I think that's the way down. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these two dads, you have lit the path for me as well. folks like Fink. Really? Man, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. There. down here. I treat them like animals. More than the light. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races. Is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red. Is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water. Cruelty. What a slate. He looks. You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Hmm. 
you take a look at this lock? Really? That little old lock. God, what can people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? No, this is it, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind. All yours. Do it? You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it. Not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? What the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through. To this other Columbia, but... How? It's like riding a bicycle. You never really forget. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this stair... I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. These men... I killed them. They were dead. 
Not in this world. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. What's wrong with them? They remember. Remember what? Being dead. He was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. isn't giving you the job.
Hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, if... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Heal my husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker. This is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe if, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This terror. People are safe. I'm not so sure it was a bloody nose. Why is it, Mr. Fingman? We have to work 16 hours a day. No, let's be clear. I would like nothing 
more than to shorten your workday. But the fact is, I simply can't. Much obliged! Song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. The beasts of burden. Now they provide meat, milk, and labor. And then, well, there are the hyenas. The Found some money. All right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Do it now. All right.
You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. All right, that was part five of our Bioshock Infinite PC playthrough. Um, if you enjoyed these, this video or any other videos, uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, I realized that this this part of the playthrough was a little uh, little dry. It was more story driven rather than you know shooting or action packs or whatever. But uh, hopefully it gets better in the next one. So stay tuned.